without a doubt. I mean, uh, he's such a big part of our, our our team, our pitching staff, and we need to do everything we can to to get him get him going and get him built up again. Uh, but Yanni's in a good spot, and hopefully, he can get some good quality work and be efficient and and uh, you know come out of the ball game. We get some runs for him, and he'll have a lead. Kevin, what you've talked about when Brandon gets on one of these streaks, there's just something about his swing. I mean, he think that's 16 extra base hits already for this season. What do you see when he's just in this groove? Well, he 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 just doesn't miss. He doesn't miss his pitch. Uh, a lot of times, hitters get in their groove and and they're they're uh, you know you'll have a foul ball in there. But it seems like with Brandon right now, everything that he sees that he offers that he's a good swing on it and doing a big time damage. Kevin, how good was it to see Fairbanks come in and get out of that jam there in the sixth? Uh, that was big. Our, like I said, our relievers, all of them, did a tremendous job of keeping it right there. Whether we were up one or tied throughout the game, they did a really, really good job. Uh, and Fairbanks is a guy that we're going to continue to lead on. He's got big time stuff, and um, he's going to get more, you know, more confidence as he goes pitching in that role. But we're going to we're going to go to him in, in, in a lot of those roles going forward. At eighth inning, Willie Adamas, the two-run home run. How clutch was that in that situation in extra innings? <clears throat> That's about as clutch as you can get. You know, uh, we know Wilmer pretty well, and he can get a, get the fastballs at the top of the zone, and it makes it really tough. He's got that really good carry at times, but Willie got a ball down. I was just encouraged, impressed that Willie was ready to hit. He was ready to go right on time and got every bit of it to right center. Big, big boost for us. In the top of the seventh, you guys kind of caught a little bit of a break with the error. Um, on that Diaz hit, and then Meadows scored. How crucial or maybe fortunate was that? Well, we were fortunate. I think it was a, a great job by Rodney Linares. And we talk about third base coaches every time they send a guy and they get thrown out. He's he's made a couple really big sins here lately, uh, picking up where the, the outfielder either bobbled it or threw to the wrong base, and we were able to take advantage and score. Uh, credit Meadows, certainly, for, for busting it all the way through, but just a heck of a job by Rodney the eighth come from behind victory of the season so far this year for you guys what do you think that says about this group well uh, it says a lot i mean look we, we, I, I don't think we, we didn't play our best today we did enough to to win and took advantage of some mistakes uh good teams do that and um you know just impressed with the overall team effort i mean we, we had guys pitching in roles that they're not accustomed to uh big credit to aaron sleggers and and, and aaron loop both for for the you know, the, the him going in both games and, and being so efficient with it. Hey, Kevin, you said after the first game you needed some more guys to get some big hits like Loud did. I guess Yoshi and Adamas would count. Yeah, that, that would count. Yoshi's was big because um, we, we weren't having that many good at-bats off Shoemaker. Um, you know, he had a really good changeup going tonight and kind of offset the left-handers. He did a good job, and then Yoshi stayed on a ball and drove it out. Good for him, and then definitely Willie's right there. Um, you know, the debate, bunt, don't bunt, when, and when you're on the uh, on the road at home, all those things, when Willie wants to go up and do that, you put all that discussion to rest. Hey, Kevin, what about um, Luke, Sleggers, and, and Chaz kind of keeping it there, and then obviously Sleggers closing it out? Yeah, I mean, look, really good job. That's a reference at that that uh, Sluggers. I don't know if that's. I'm guessing he doesn't have many saves, but um, just to, out, right through the teeth of their lineup too. Um, did a good job of throwing strikes, um, letting the defense work behind him. Uh, and Loopy, you know, he's he's been there, done that. He's a veteran guy, but for him to be able to bounce back after game one to come in in game two and provide uh, those big outs with uh, one, two, three right there was huge. Kevin, just one clarification question from earlier in the top of the fifth with the bases loaded, Choi hitting lefty. I mean, what was the reasoning for maybe not bringing in a right-handed batter or, or having Choi hit righty? How was that decision made? Yeah, yeah. We we try not to mess with uh, G-Man too too much on which way he's going to hit. Uh, I think you kind of let him decide. I know him and Chad have had this, some discussions about let, let's get your left-handed swing going and see where the right right hand. If we want to pick some spots in there, but we want him to be comfortable, um, not overly concerned which way he goes up there, but want him to be comfortable and know that he's a really really good hitter that we got to get going. And he did barrel some balls up and had some good at bats. He had a deep fly ball today. 
uh, to left, just missed a pitch, and then also the, the big uh, RBI double earlier in the game. Kevin, what did you think of Yanni Chirinos as uh, first start after the coming off the IL, especially after the first two batters? Yeah, I, I think his um, his stuff looks fine. So we're encouraged by that. We can work with that and continue to build off of it. I think, you know, in fairness to Yanni, he's had a pretty unique buildup. Uh, not a ton of batters faced going into his season. And, and, and you know, we're, we're trying to calculate the best way to go about it for him so the more reps we, we were able to get him i think the better he's going to be for it might have been off just with his rhythm and stuff but the, as far as overall stuff we were encouraged with it hey kevin did you have a sense maybe the day wasn't going to go well on the britchick homer in the first i i you broke up on me i said the did you get a, a bad sense of the day when the ball from Gritchick goes off kk's glove in the first and goes over well, I mean, look, it, it, Major League Baseball is tough enough. Try, basically, we had a doubleheader today. To try to win two games is really, really difficult to do. Uh, it definitely didn't put us in a good spot, but we're going to trust KK is going to make more of those plays than, than not. Um, I haven't gone back and looked at it. I know he wasn't too happy with himself, but um, KK does some special things defensively for him. We're going to bet on him every time. And just a couple other quick things. Did Luke come in and offer to pitch the second game, or was that just the only through five pitches? It was pretty clear. Or? Well, Kyle checked on uh, all the guys and felt like we were comfortable pitching him. Uh, of, of 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 all the guys that pitched in game one, um, felt like you know it bounces back well and how efficient he was in game uh, in the first game. And just one other thing, going back to what Trisha asked you about G-Man, if you knew he was hitting lefty, would you have thought more of a right-handed pinch hitter or that didn't factor in? No, it didn't really factor in. We, we've got Kay, their guy on the mound, as being a guy that, that can handle uh, righties really well. He's been tough on him. He drives the ball in um, on the righties. And, look, we got confidence in all the guys, um, but felt like G-Man was the right guy to get it done right there. Willie, just first off, you know, that two run home run to take the lead. It looked like. Oh, take us through that at bat and that home run. Oh, no, I just, I, I just went there, you know, I, I, I've been watching uh, uh, Brandon Lau hitting and it's been so fun. So I just want to I just wanted to cash up, but he's he's making it tough. But no, I just I just went there to be uh, I wanted to be aggressive because I know he was going to attack the sun. You know, he gave me the right pitch to hit, and I just put the barrel on it, and I was just happy that the ball went out and we got the win. How satisfying is it to get that win, not only in extra innings, but in the second game of a doubleheader? It means a lot a lot to us because, you know, we, we were battling the whole game. You know, we, we were getting, you know, like uh, fighting the whole game, and for us to get that, that game was big. You know, now coming to New York, we know, that we we're gonna have a, a tough series against them. We got we gotta come with the right mindset, and you know, winning this game, I think he gave us that confidence. Hey Willie, you mentioned uh, Bilal. We know we were talking to you earlier in the week when you guys both looked like you might have a cycle. You were kind of teasing each other a little bit. Is, is that a good good thing you guys have going, the two of you? Of course, like I said, man, it's been fun fun to watch him. What he's doing is it's incredible, man. Like I tell I tell him every time every time that I that I got the opportunity, I'm like, man, you're the best, man. Just you just gotta keep it up, man. You like you have our team in your back right now. So keep it up, stay happy. And I just happy to see that he's killing it, man. Uh, he 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 put that work in every day and I'm just happy for him and, and for the team too. Hey, Willie, um, Cash said that's about as clutch as it gets from your home run. Is that kind of the situations that you like being in as a player, just having that opportunity to be, be, be clutch there? Of course. I think every, I think any player wants that situation because, you know, that's, that's what you play for, you know. Obviously, if you get that big hit there, you're going to be happy, you know. And if you don't get the job done, you know, you, you just got to cheer for the guy next to you, the guy that is coming back. But... For me, I'm just happy that, you know, we got the win. We got the double hitters. We won, won both. And, you know, now we're going to New York. We got to keep winning. Hey, you, you mentioned going to New York. I mean, you guys had a pretty good series with them at home last weekend. It's still a big challenge? 
Of course, of course. Every time we play the Yankees, it's a big challenge. You know, I mean, I'll say any team, but you know, then you know they in, in the first place in the first place of the division, and that tells you that they, you know, they have a good a good team. But like you say, we had a good series in uh, last week, but that's in the past. Uh, you know, it's in the past already. We gotta win this one, so we gotta go there with the right mentality and just gotta win the first one and take it from there. Time for one more. Hey, you got your eighth come from behind win of the year. What does that say about you guys? Sorry, I couldn't hear you. I got your eighth come from behind win this season. What does that say about your team? That we are really good, man. That we we don't we don't quit. I think I told you that last year. We don't quit. We we compete until the end, and that's what we do.